when I used to answer the phone at CarCraft Magazine, I'd say, CarCraft, this is car, talk about confusing. But this isn't CarCraft Magazine, it's car parts. And I'm car. It's episode three. You're starting to get it, right? Car Parts is dedicated to builders, the parts they're using, and the tips and tricks that they're willing to share. Now in our last episode, we talked with Mateo, way up north, and it was all about braking systems. Pitter patter, he showed us how to get at her. We appreciate that, Mateo. Next up, it's Kuhnhausen time. Now if you don't know Kyle, you need to, and he's gonna let us know his top five tools. Kyle? Hi. I'm Kyle Kuhnhausen. We're here at Kuhnhausen Metal Concepts in Cresswell, Oregon, so that I can show you five of the top tools that I use, um, starting from something that you could own as a hobbyist, all the way up to some pretty highly specialized things like my TIG welder back here. So let's check it out. So the first of these tools um, would be my digital caliper. I use this for everything. It works in uh, metric, it works in standard. It's how I translate basically all of the measurements I take on everything and keep a level of precision that uh, matches all these high quality hot rods. So you can get one of those yourself. They're not terribly expensive as a hobbyist or professional. The next important tool that I use on a pretty regular basis is a pedestal stand. And I'll show you what I mean by that. This is a little pedestal stand that I cooked up a long time ago and it's still in service. It does a multitude of things. Um, you can hook up your vise, you can put on a uh, a pedestal for your, your shop bag. Um, that's how you create 3D shapes out of 2D templates, um, along with other tools. Um, you know, a nice T dolly, pipe clamp. Um, that kind of helps me do everything. And again, that's not an incredibly specialized tool. You could have one of those yourself at home and it's very, very handy. Another excellent tool that I use every day and night is my 3D printer, coupled with good CAD software. Um, I use this to make um, real 3D prototypes of components that I then have machined um, on a CNC or even use as end-use products with the right mixture of filament. As you can see, the machine's warming up um, for its daily prints. And then there's things like, this is a Hillborn scoop base that I designed and then turned into a final product here on the banana boat. Um, I print in multiple pieces because my printer is not large enough to handle such a, a big unit as that. Um, but you can see how that translates from uh, the digital world to reality. And it uh, is pretty much how most of the top builders are creating these one-off works of art. So now we're over here in my welding area and I'm going to show you my TIG welder. That's my fourth tool on the list of five very useful tools that I use all the time. And that is this unit right here. It's an ESOB and it's served me well for about five years now, so let's take a peek. So the biggest part about a TIG welder is the matching components. I've got a whole bunch of goodies for switching between different materials, titanium, stainless, aluminum, um, all sorts of gas lenses, multiple argon bottles for purging and, and purging accessories, the rotary positioning table, the bench, the armrest, it's all kind of one cohesive unit that I use to pretty much create all my little miniature masterpieces. So this is my welding area. To wrap up our tour of the five top tools that I use daily, we're here with my Burking belt sander. It's a 72 inch model and we're in the dungeon, which is where I make all my sparks and uh, make all the, uh, oh, there's Oliver dog checking us out. But this is where I make all the dust, sparks, and I try to keep that out of the main area. So let's take a peek at this Burking. This is a variable speed model that I built a custom stand for to hold all my uh, different abrasives. Um, we've got super coarse 36 grit all the way up to very fine scotch Bright and Trizac. Uh, this is a huge time saver for me. I used to do all my grinding by hand. And uh, over the mass of the last about four years, I've had this thing and it has made a lot of sparks. So that wraps up a mini tour of uh, Kuhnhausen Metal Concepts here, the top five tools that I enjoy and use. We started with the hand caliper. We then went to the pedestal stand, the 3D printer, the welding station, and then the Burking belt sander. Those five tools are game changers and help me produce the uh, great results that you've seen at SEMA. I hope you enjoyed it. Always Cheryl was glad to have you by and uh, we'll catch you next time with some more helpful tips. Thank you. So that's episode three. It's in the books. Now, how can you be on car parts? Well, that's easy. Just send us a clip, 
Tell us the parts you're using. Give us a tip or a trick. Let us know what you're doing in your garage. Send those clips right here, right here. We don't have a show without it, so please send it right here. And until next time, I'm Carr. This is Car Parts. Keep building.